Hello, and welcome to the Catamount Football Show. My name's Ron Ward, and I'm here with our head coach, Matt Land. Coach, uh, we're winding down spring practice uh, 2014, and it's red and white football day. What's it like to be back out on the field? All the stars have lined up, and the world's all right. There's peace in the world, and, you know, everybody sleeps good. Now, it is great to be back in football season. And, you know, here at Dalton, for us, football season starts really when we start spring practice uh, because of the way the schedules are set up now with GHSA. You know, we pretty much leave here, go into the summer, and it's just maybe diversified training, but we're pretty much working toward the season. Well, Coach, um, listen, uh, you've made us proud as a coach. Um, Thank you. In the classroom, on the football field, in the community, um, it's good to have you here as our coach. I'm just saying that personally. Well, and I know I uh, am sharing with you the sentiments of a lot of people. Thank you. Uh, as we're winding down, you've had a few days now with these guys. Uh, what, have, what are some of the takeaways that you've come up with as uh, you've had a chance to evaluate your, your guys? Well, we, we lost uh, an, an, out, an outstanding group of seniors last year, as you know, uh, outstanding in the classroom. Uh, and, and most importantly, and then outstanding here on the field. We obviously are the reigning region champion, and we're proud of those guys for that. They worked four years for that, yep. and uh, just really, really proud of that. But the, obviously there's a worry, you know, when you lose that kind of leadership, which was a very strong leadership group. Uh, I think here at Don, we worry more sometimes about that than the, than the athleticism or the talent. And so, you know, it's one of those things where the first thing that our coaching staff was looking for was what, who was going to step up? You know, who was going to be that guy in the huddle that says, you know, follow me? Or the guy that says, hey, get on my back and I'll carry the rest of practice. And we've had those guys step up. Great. And I'm, I'm very proud of that. We've even had some young guys, some freshmen and some sophomores that have stepped up. Uh, we had, the first week we had just freshmen and uh, we saw some great promise. Uh, in our in our eighth graders that are coming up, and uh, in fact, uh, maybe one of the, the maybe one of the greatest depth groups we've had in probably the last five or ten years. Uh, not a lot of superstars, but great depth. I mean, there was 22 to 25 kids that we were able to scrimmage every day, uh, and and two platoon. And you know, here that's that's what we want to do is two right. platoon so that we get 35 to 40 guys on the field every Friday night. So like I said, that you know that was our main thing. What leadership? I think the second thing that you look for is. You know, Coach Thompson just does an outstanding job uh, with with our weight program and sure. our off-season strength and conditioning. And you know, everybody can run in a gym. Everybody's fast when they've got on right. you know Under Armour t-shirts and tennis shoes. Right. What do you run when you got you know 20 pounds worth of gear on and a 250-pound defensive tackle hanging <laughs> on your back? You know, that's what we got to figure out. That's what wins. Not you know not what you do in a gym. Right. What you do on the field. So it was good to get out here and see the hard work that those guys had put in pay off out on this field. And I tell you, I think our fans, I know our coaching staff, and I'm, I'm sure our mom and dads are going to be very proud of the team that we're going to have this year. Uh, Coach, you, uh, you alluded that, um, you know, as we're coming down to the end of this, that then we have the summer coming up. Uh, what kind of summer you got planned for yourself and for these guys? Well, it's going to be a busy summer. Uh, you know, we, we ask all of our kids to play two sports. So the month of June, uh, they're not only doing their football workouts, they're also playing travel baseball and they're playing tennis and they're running track and they're swimming and they're, uh, you know, they're going with the AAU basketball or they're playing their own basketball here with the, with the Coach Duffy. And, uh, you know, Coach Duffy, Coach Ramsey, they do an outstanding job of, of uh, with working with us right. and us with them. We try to make it so we don't want any kid having to make a decision between a sport. So, you know, the month of June is really about – diversity. I mean, they start at 6 in the morning with us working out, conditioning, throwing some balls, working on some tackling drills, some form and stuff like that. And then they generally end at East Cobb playing baseball or, you know, in a gym, uh, right. you know, playing basketball. Uh, but then, then we'll hit dead week uh, right. in July, mandatory by the state. We have to take that time off. And then July, it really cranks up. And, uh, you know, obviously we'll have uh, our FCA team camp that we'll go to, which is right. a, uh, which is now, an, it's an 11 on 11 uh, really? shells okay. where we're able to use our, our full pads, well, not pants, but use our right. shells and helmets. Uh, great, great camp spiritually for us, but great sure. camp physically for us as well. Uh, and then we have obviously the big 7-on-7 seven seven competition that the, the paper does a great job doing right. here. So we'll have that. And then we've got about three other 7-on-7s seven seven or work days planned with other schools. And uh, that, that's really kind of where we're going to get the majority of our growth this summer is those work days with other schools where we can really isolate. And you're competing, but you're not competing for a trophy. You're right. competing to get better. Right. And so uh, we're excited. we got some teams coming up from Atlanta and one from Alabama and one from Tennessee. And uh, we're going to be going to some – like I said, it's just going to be a fun summer for our kids. And then August 1st, it cranks up. 
Yeah, and this coming season, it's going to be a transition for Dalton High School. Yeah. Tell us a little bit what your thoughts are well, there. I you, we're so excited. You know, we're, we're so excited, and we feel like it's more than appropriate to win the region championship and to kind of look at, you know, region 4A, I mean, uh, re, you know, region 7 4A and class 4A and just say, you know what, well, you know, we, we did our best. We, we, we won the championship. Okay, now now we move on. Now what's the what's the next level? Right. And, you know, we, we've got uh, – we, we are so excited. The teams that we're going to be playing are great teams, teams that last year, I mean, Kale was national ranked uh, so you know for us we love a good challenge and uh, so for our coaching staff and our players uh, you know we're excited to see what this season is going to hold we know we're going to have to work harder we know we're going to, have to work longer we know we're going to have to coach harder and coach longer uh, the fans are going to have to cheer longer and cheer louder but you know what that's what Don does we rise to the occasion whether it's in the classroom on the field and uh, I just got a good feeling about this leadership on this team I think they'll rise to the occasion this year well, I know, Coach, that uh, you and your coaching staff provide uh, tremendous role models, and uh, those boys aren't going to work any harder than you guys. I know the sacrifices <laughs> you all make. Uh, listen, as we bring this to a close, uh, what would you like to say to the Catamount Nation? Well, I, you know, I just want to tell all of our fans, we, we really do appreciate last year. Last year was such a special year. It was a year where our kids worked hard. We were able to win the region championship. We would not had that in a while, so it's good to bring that back to Dalton. Uh, and what I'd like to say is, is you know what, this year, uh, holes we don't know. What I know is there's three things we're going to commit to, which is our, our motto here, which is we're not going to get out coached, we're not going to get out worked, and we're not going to get out hit. Now, if we get beat by a team that's better than us, you know what? We get beat by a team that's better than us. But I know this, it'll take a team 48 minutes to do it. But what I'm excited about is that our kids understand that there's a region championship to win in Class 5A, and we intend on going out working for it. And you know what? We'll do the best we can, and I know our fans will be there on Friday nights. I know that uh, they're going to be excited. I know our band's going to play better. Our cheerleaders will cheer better. And uh, like I said, this is going to be an exciting year. And, I, you know, personally, I think it's going to be a special year. I really got a good feeling about this I year. I do too, Coach. Good. Coach, listen, thank you so much, and thank good you. luck uh, going into the summer and, uh, and into the next season. Well, thank you very much. And we'll be back in just a few moments. Go Big Red. Welcome back to the Catamount Football Show, Spring Edition. I'm here with Jerry Scott, the uh, new president of the Quarterback Club. Uh, Jerry, you've been a longtime supporter uh, of the Catamounts uh, in a lot of different capacities, uh, not the least of which you were the father of a former quarterback. Um, as the president, uh, tell us what uh, you guys have been busy doing so far this year and getting pre prepared for this coming football season. Uh, we've been doing quite a few things for the, for the school and for the football program. Uh, we helped with the uh, Scholar Athlete Banquet, which was recently held at the Country Club. Uh, we, we try to not only support football, but we try right. to support Dalton High School and the Dalton School system as a whole. 
Uh, we're, we're committed to raising money for the school, uh, to buy new equipment for the football team, and uh, just benefit the program overall. Uh, I know that uh, you never can get too much help. Um, if there was somebody who would be interested in joining the quarterback club, how would they go about doing that? Uh, we, we publish a mailing of the people who are already members and have been previous members. We'll send it out uh, late June, early July. And another ac uh, access point is our uh, website, right. uh, www.daltonfootball.com. And uh, anybody in the general public can, uh, can uh, join through that site. Uh, you can pay for your membership on that site. We have various levels of membership, uh, depending on how much you want to commit and how deep your commitment is. Uh, we would welcome any new members we can get to support uh, not only, as I said, Dalton football, but also the Dalton public school system and our other athletic programs. Um, we, we try to raise money to, to buy the things that the school system can't uh, afford to support the programs with, uh, a lot of the nice things that are good to have. And uh, Dalton, as you know, through the years has done a really good job of supporting our kids uh, and we hope to continue that tradition uh, for the next years to come. Well, I know that in my years here at Dalton High School, I've been amazed at the level of support that you and the other members of the quarterback club have given uh, to the coaches and to the kids and to the school system. Uh, as uh, our school year winds down and red and white game finishes up tonight and we head into summer, what kind of things do you guys have uh, going on as you prepare for fall? Uh, we're, we're doing several camps that will help uh, fund for the football program. We're sending the coaches to several clinics uh, to help enhance their skills and their education. And uh, we, uh, one of the big events we support is the FCA camp right. at West Georgia College. We send the entire team to it. Uh, we've been doing that for several years. Uh, we send a small contingency of linemen to a lineman camp. We send our quarterbacks and receivers to multiple quarterback receiver camps. Uh, we help put on uh, seven on seven drills here at the school. And uh, we also supplement the school in helping to pay for the preseason camp that we, right. we always have uh, to kick off the fall seasons. Uh, a, lot, a lot of things we, we try to do and try to support and uh, we can't do that without memberships. And uh, we, we have been so, so blessed through the years to be able to provide things for the Dalton programs uh, and keep, keep our rich tradition of success uh, on track and we hope to continue that. Well, I just know having partnered with you guys for the last number of years, I know what you guys do behind the scenes and we couldn't do it without you and I really appreciate it. Well, Jerry? I appreciate the support of the school system and uh, all the parents, the alumni, uh, the current and former players. Right. Uh, Dalton, Dalton's a tremendously unique place. It is. And we're just thrilled to be a part of it. Well, I'm glad that you're here and uh, I'll let you go. you got some hot dogs to cook and uh, we'll be back after these messages.
Welcome back to the Catamount Football Show. Again, we're here at um, Red and White Day, uh, the game day, uh, completion of spring practice, and I'm here with one of our coaches. I'm going to have him introduce himself to you. Uh, I'm Kit Carpenter. I'm the defensive coordinator. Uh, this will be my, I think, 14th season here. Wow. Yeah, it's been a while. Wow. Uh, you're also a former Catamount. I am. What position did you play when you was in high school? Uh, inside linebacker. You still look like you could do it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, couldn't for very long. For Spirit sure. is willing, but the flesh is weak, huh? Right. Uh, Coach, listen, uh, you've just completed uh, your uh, spring spring drills, and uh, the red and white game's coming up here in just a little bit. Um, you've lo you lost some seniors from last year from a very tough defensive squad. How many guys are you having to replace for this year? Uh, we're going to have to replace about six or seven guys that, that really contributed to last year's squad. Okay. Uh, I know that you've had some time with these guys now the past couple of weeks to uh, see what you've got and uh, uh, what you need to work on coming up for the fall. Uh, what have been some uh, things that you've learned this week? Well, just trying to put people uh, in positions to replace those that left, but we've got such a talented bunch uh, to work with now. It's almost, uh, it's, it's really difficult to be able to put people where they could most benefit the team. Okay. Um, what have been some of the areas where you see as one of your, as your strengths uh, defensively? Well, we've got some guys with some experience returning on the on the defensive line. Uh, we've got a, a corner returning that, that that was a starter for us last year, and um, you know as far as that goes, the strength uh, and conditioning program has really positioned some of these guys to be major contributors this year. Uh, what are some areas where you see where your challenges still lie? Uh, just different terminology and, and how we had a lot of moving parts to our defense last year. And whenever you have a lot of returning starters, you can do that. But being able to take new faces and being able to do some of the similar things is, is, is often a challenge. Okay. Well, you got the summer, you got schools out in a week, you know, but who's counting, you know? Um, but you got the summer coming up. Uh, what kind of uh, summer do you guys have planned for these guys as you prepare for fall? Uh, there'll be a lot of the passing camps and, and workouts and things like that. So we'll, we'll still have some opportunities to move people around and really to find the, the right blend of personnel. Okay. Well, Coach, listen, I wish you all the luck in the world. I know that uh, you got a big job, a lot of responsibilities uh, from the defensive standpoint, a big tradition to maintain, and I uh, just wish you all the luck in the world this coming season. Appreciate you. you joining us. Thank you. And we'll be right back.
Welcome back to the Catamount Football Show. Uh, again, we're here at uh, Dalton High School at our new uh, turf field, and we're coming to the conclusion of spring practices. And today is the red-white uh, football game, and I'm here now with another one of our coaches. Coach, if you would, if you introduce yourself to the audience. Okay, I'm Bill Napier. This is my 36th year coaching. Uh, I coached at Murray County for 25 years, coached in Tennessee three years. Uh, this will be my fourth year at Dalton coming up. Um, we we really had a good spring, you know. We've got uh, uh, a lot of depth uh, when everybody's healthy. We've got some little nick injuries that uh, will be fine in a couple of weeks right now. So we're looking forward to the fall and the the summer is such a big deal to us. Uh, uh, Coach Thompson does a great job all all the time, 12 months a year, with our weight program and our speed program, and uh, the summer's no different. We'll be going three days a week. We'll do a lot of seven on seven this summer. Uh, there'll be kids go to camps and that kind of thing. So we're just same old, same old, just keep working. Coach, I know that you've had some time uh, watching the boys and coaching them up this uh, these past few weeks with spring practice. And um, what are some of the uh, positives that you've seen uh, from, this, from the past couple of weeks? Well, you know, uh, I've been here now, this will be the fourth year, and I really, I really am uh, amazed with the consistency from the kids as good teammates to each other. You know, we have, we have a lot of, uh, you know, good kids that, that, you know, not necessarily great athletes, although we do have some really good athletes, but, but for the whole team, these guys that uh, are really good teammates to their, to their uh, guys by them in the locker room and so forth, you know, I'm amazed with that. And uh, Coach Land has a lot to do with that. He really pushes that as well as all of our assistants do. And uh, I'm really impressed with this group. We've got a lot of character and integrity in the, in the leadership that we have from our senior class and even some of our juniors are leaders. So um, I'm excited about this fall. Um, as you enter into the summer, you were telling us that you have a lot of things uh, planned. What are some of the areas that, uh, we need, that you need to pay particular uh, attention to uh, to get, get us ready for fall? Well, you know, football is a game of details. If you, if you uh, don't pay close attention to details, then you're going to end up short on the stick. So if success is going to be part of your season, you know, then the little things – that all that really add up to make a big difference are some of the things that we'll we'll be talking about uh, and you know footwork as far as offensive linemen are concerned hand placement you know quarterback footwork you know things like ball security and uh, just taking care of the football and all goes back to fundamentals well I tell you what uh, we scored when we got you to put on the red and the white and uh, I know that you're going to attend to those details, and uh, you're certainly a role model for our, for our guys, and I'm glad you're here, Coach. And I appreciate uh, you taking your time to interview with me, and good luck this season. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining me this evening for the Catamount Football uh, preseason edition, uh, spring edition. Uh, it's been my uh, pleasure to interview the coaches and uh, uh, Jerry Scott with our quarterback club. And I'm glad that you joined us. And as we go into the summer months and get prepared for uh, football season 2014, uh, we ask, I'm asking you to get yourself ready for August because we're going to need the whole Catamount Nation out there to support the kids. They're working hard uh, for themselves, for each other, for their coaches, and for you. And uh, your coming out means the world to them. Uh, you've been a great support to these kids uh, over the years, and uh, they're going to need more of the same. So, uh, again, thank you for joining us on the show uh, today, and uh, we will see you in the fall. And go Big Red.